Here we go. Ready? Oh, he's better than me. Yeah. It's like Wednesday. I've been on this thing for almost two weeks now. Um, you can see this curve is really starting to take shape now. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a really wicked pisser tool. Check this bad boy out. Huh? This thing is the balls. Um, it's called the compass plane. And what it does, it, it I'm just going to show you instead of me trying to explain it. Check this out. Huh? I gotta roll the. I'm gonna roll the blade back so I don't have to cut it since I've already finished it. Look at this. Huh? This makes doing this curve so much easier than it would have any other way. That wooden plane that I had was great to rough it out and kind of get it close but now that I have to go with the grain to clean it up and make it really nice looking for uh, the interior of the pigeonhole assembly uh, this is way nicer than it would have been originally um, they would have hogged this out with chisels and beat the shit out of it but um, I don't know this one's coming out kind of nice it's because uh, you know I don't know I like to do nice work so not only does it do this curve guys you know watch this Oh yeah, baby. Sound like ammo. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this dude. Bam! Huh? Can you guys see that? I don't know. I can't really see with the camera because I'm doing this by myself again. But it does this. It does this um curve as well. So. That's what this compass plane does. Um, I've already done this side, and it came out really nice. I was surprised how nice it came out. I'm just going to show you what a straight edge. So I'm going to move the camera. This is the important stuff right here. This right here is like what's important. So, uh, can you see that? Like this is how I do it. I I put the the straight edge on there, and I just sight it and make sure that it's staying flat. You know, and then I sight it down here. See that? Make sure that it's flat the whole way. This is really important, guys, because like if this gets screwed up when I go to fit my drawers, they're gonna be a mess. So, same thing here. You know? I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that, huh? I'm good at this. I'm telling you. I mean, I don't know how to draw it yet, <laughs> but I'm learning. You know? Look at that. It looks like there's a little bit of space under there, but you can't see light, so it's still really, really good. You know, look at that. Now it's it's consistent the whole way down, which is really awesome. So now my curve is perfect on the inside. So now you can see this line on the exterior down here. So um, I need to flip it over and uh, do some planning with that compass plane. Yeah, so this is it. I just got to keep going along. Let me just get a couple of them in so you can see what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Word. But, you know, typically I'd be doing this to music. Backspin or Tony Bennett or something. Ugh. And, you know, there's no easy way around this crap. It's just a lot of time and hard work of... You know, molding this stuff and shaping it. They might have had a different way of doing it, but I don't know it. So I'm just doing it my way. <laughs> like Frankie Baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Mm. It kind of sucks to do, but it's alright. So now you can see where I planed. It's nice and clean compared to where it's all beat up from that other plane. So I just got to get down to this line. You know, so this whole line is is what I'm going to achieve. So it's going to take me, I don't know, probably till noontime today. 
I have to meet with Maria about some contractual issues with David. Ha! <laughs> Last night you guys stressed me out. It's alright though, today's a new day. No problem. This is gonna be awesome. For real. We're all gonna have some fun doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, no sweat. This is like a U2 thing, check it out. Huh? You know that two camera from like 1990 or whatever? Huh? <laughs> and I don't even drink. The next important part of this um, shaping deal is I have to get this reference line on the bottom out. You know, and this is a... Um... Shoulder plank. That's right, buddy. Shoulder plank. Now, there's a little trick on the shoulder plank. Come right here. I have to flat. I'm, I'm coming this way. Check it out now. See? This way. You get that? Yeah. Can you see that? I see, Mike. Now, what do you want to do? Come here, buddy. You see how this blade can move left to right a little bit? It's very important not to have this blade beyond the shoulder. Because if I start digging in here, I'm going to destroy the friggin' um, the bottom of the, of the um, piece of work. So, so you just so hold that, it up a little bit. That, okay? that blade is a little prouder. No, it's supposed okay. to be flush, but I like to just keep it inside. Okay. Just, just to make sure. So just see that's that's a little yep. bit. You said like nothing. Yep. Nice. Well, it's important. You know it what is mean? important. And then when I come along here, I'm gonna take this down to the line. Very important. Now. This way, I don't wreck the, I don't wreck all this wood. You know. I see you, uh, you nip the end there so you won't get tear out. Yeah, little, little, take that. Another yep. little trick I have, yep. huh? See, I have so many tricks, I don't even... I learned that in I junior think, high. Well, they are good, you know? What kind of junior high did you go to? That's kind of critical because that's the outside, right? Yeah. You know, this is the outside. This is where the, the bottom hits and blah, 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 blah. Okay. I bet it's pretty close, though. Let's see. It's a nice roll. I just got to clean up a little bit. Yeah. But whatever, you get the idea. Yeah. See oh, it from the good. side of it? Yeah. Can you see it here? Get a tight shot from down in here. See what's happening? And then from here, I just want to take the shoulder plane. And I just want to start to work it right now. See? Oh, you want to round it over too. Yeah, you know, I got to break this whole thing. Yeah. And round this bottom over. <laughs> All right, Al. What's this thing called? It's called a cabinet scraper. Look at that, Lee Nielsen tools. Oh man, huh? I'll tell you. We have to get these guys too. Lee, I'd love one of those. Tom, Tom Lee Nielsen, I'd love one of those. I have. So, Al, look, watch the bird of this thing. Nice, you must have rolled the edge on that, huh? I did, you know how I did it? I, I know how, you use the burnisher, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. That's nice. You got a little flex in that uh, scraper, I see. Yeah, well, I can bend it. Yeah. You, know? you just don't want to go too much, otherwise you're going to put in groove. I, re I saw somewhere that they had some super thin ones. Yeah, I got a couple. They don't work yeah. too good. Well, what's crazy about this thing, Al, is it gets real hot. Would you mind if I touch this? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's good. That's great. Pretty smooth, right? You feel like this right look here? Look at the difference. Unscraped and... Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Look, that's still like that bullseye in the middle of that baby. I know, huh? Um, it's really coming out now when it's got a plane and scraped. 